When you let the divine take the lead of your life, miracles can happen. You know, there was a man who had sought out every cure for his alcoholism without any luck. And he went to see the famous Swiss psychoanalyst Carl Jung. Now Jung treated this man Roland for approximately a year, by which time he had achieved some measure of sobriety. Now Roland went back to the United States full of hope, only to fall ill again with his alcoholism. Now this time Roland went back to Switzerland to see Carl Jung and asked for further treatment. But Jung told him humbly that neither his science nor his art could help him further. But throughout man's history, rarely, but from time to time, some people who had abandoned themselves completely to some spiritual organization and surrendered themselves to God for help had recovered. Now that man went back to the United States and initially joined a group called the Oxford Groups. But later, this became AA. And his miraculous story of recovery went on to transform millions of lives throughout the world, where formerly this was considered a hopeless condition. When you let the divine take the lead, miracles can happen. You know, about three years ago, I had been struggling in my business. Not only was a lot of the passion gone, but I wasn't really financially making that much money. So not only was I financially not doing great, I spiritually wasn't doing great. Because I wasn't really looking forward to the days anymore. I wasn't excited about the future. I wasn't ready to work towards my goals. I wasn't that motivated, ambitious, take over the world guy that I was a few years before. Now one night during this burnout, I said, if there's some kind of divine purpose to my business, if this is a real thing, if this is just not some garbage religious stuff, show me what to do and I'll follow my hunches no matter where you want me to go. Now around that time, I thought about putting together something for my clients that would help them. And that thing ended up turning into the book, Master of the Day, which not only has helped so many tens of thousands of people that I've heard from, my books have made almost six figures in royalties, which is an almost impossible number for self-published authors. When you let the divine take the lead, miracles can happen in your life. About two years ago, I'd been really wanting a relationship. I'd been out of a five-year relationship, then I had a bad relationship for the first time, and I started to feel ready again. So each night, I just took some time to visualize and feel what would it be like to meet this kind of girl that I wanted to meet. After about three weeks, I just forgot about everything that I had prayed for. And one day, we decided to start using Instagram in my business, and so I posted an ad for a photographer on Craigslist. Now, I had initially already filled the position and already hired a photographer, but this girl emailed me, and something about the email felt familiar. Something about it drew me in, and I'd already answered hundreds of Craigslist emails. When we met for the very first time, there was an instant connection. And out of the blue, two months later, we ended up dating. There is something non-material and mystical about when you let life take the lead, miracles can happen in the way you achieve your goals or find love or find peace with life. When you let the divine take the lead, miracles can happen. Things you cannot orchestrate by your own will, things your effort cannot achieve, plans you could never have put together yourself because they're so perfect, they can happen when you surrender the reins of life and let something else do the work.
When you let the divine take the lead, miracles can happen.